Are you a structural engineer? Are you feeling tired and exhausted and don't want to come to work? Well, I'm here to tell you, you are not alone. And it's a problem with our industry that we need to address and it's time that we talked about it. My name is Brendan, your structural engineer. Now let's get into it. Burnout is quite often seen as a problem with the individual that's suffering from it. However, studies have shown that it's quite often related to the workplace. And the biggest thing is, it actually affects your productivity and the productivity of your company. It's not saying no to additional activities or taking on additional responsibilities or even looking after yourself. It's a bigger pitch than that and we need to drill into the root causes of it. And the reason why it's so common, especially in engineering, is typically you work under long hours with tight and strict deadlines trying to solve complex solutions that potentially have also a lot of responsibility behind them. The effects of burnout can be quite negative, not only to you, but also to the wider community, as it can not only affect your workload, your productivity, but also the quality of your own work. So what are some of the signs and symptoms that you need to look out for to see whether you're actually going down this path and whether you need to address it earlier? Some of the early signs, especially stuff that you start to pick on quite early is the fact that you start to feel really drained. You don't want to get out of bed and you don't want to be going to work. You start to become really cynical about what you're doing. Everything's really negative. Now, yes, we do have parts of the work that we don't enjoy, but there's not everything to associated with our job that should be as negative as what you may be feeling. As on the other side of being cynical, it's just being indifferent. You don't care anymore. It doesn't matter whether it's a good job or a bad job. You're just like, let's just get it out. And you'll definitely see a big reduction in efficiency which also can lead to further burnout. So it's like this snowball effect that you make sure you need to catch early and make sure you're dealing with it effectively. And you'll find quite often, especially when you're trying to get those tight deadlines out, we just wanna work the next and the next hour. They can help lead to this burnout situation. However, a lot of the time working longer hours isn't necessarily effective. There's been a lot of studies shown out there that when you're working more than about 60 or 70 hours, they're not any more efficient than working the less as you get more drained. So therefore the quality and speed of your work significantly reduces. One of the best ways to make sure you're maintaining and putting off that burnout is getting effective exercise. And this brings us perfectly into the sponsor of this video, Yes Soul, who provides this exercise bike for it doesn't matter where it's raining, cold, or what the temperature is outside, you're able to exercise in the comfort of your home. So let's set up this exercise bike and see what it's all about. Now, let's try and put it together. And as engineers, who needs instructions? Another thing that comes with the package of this bike is also a TV. We'll set it up on the front so we can see where we're riding and we're exercising. This TV is actually really light, so it should be really easy for anyone to install. This looks like it's really cool because Now, let's just get started. Obviously, I've been changed. I'm ready to go for my ride. To get the best out of your soul, you obviously need to try the app, which will allow you to use this big screen in front of us. But if you don't want to do that, you can just adjust the stiffness at the bottom here. There's obviously a number of different free exercises that you can go through, but to really get the best out of it, you need to go for the monthly subscription. You can see it was very easy to set up. We set it up in no time, and we can jump right into the exercise with really minimal setup. If you're interested in picking one of these Yeshop bikes, there'll be links in the below description to take you there. Now, this is just a spin bike, so it's not a proper smart trainer, so you do need to adjust the tempo and stuff. It's a cheap option with a high quality finish, and also gives you the screen in front of you with predefined workouts. So one of the most effective exercises, especially with a bike like that, is making sure that you're getting in a hit exercise, which is high intensity workouts, where ensure that you can do the most amount of effort under a short period of time. In addition to getting good exercise, also a balanced diet helps you significantly. While you're getting burned out and drained down, typically your diet drops, which makes this even worse. However, if you maintain the quality of your diet, making sure you're eating clean and healthy food and not eating too much, this will not only help you sleep better, but also allow you to feel better overall, helping stave off the burnout feeling. Making sure that you're also getting your minimum amount of sleep. Now this is variant based on who you are. Everyone sleeps differently. Some people need a lot of sleep, some people need less. However, you make sure for whatever type you are, you're getting enough sleep for your own body. As a lack of sleep is a 
big indicator of getting burnt out. As you may be staying up late, you're stressed about getting those deadlines, doesn't allow you to sleep, but makes it worse. So making sure that you're maintaining a good bedtime routine and getting enough sleep every night. In addition to this as well, if you're starting to feel those symptoms of burnout coming on, starting to feel a little bit single nickel, starting to not want to come into work, you need to make sure that you reach out earlier. Look, I've got a little bit too much work. I'm getting a lot of stress because of it. And then just having a discussion with them, they might be able to allow you to rethink your thoughts and actually set reasonable deadlines to make sure that you're not trying to push yourself too hard. Or if they realize that you have too much work, they may be able to give you an additional assistance as it's cause neither good for you or the manager if something goes wrong, as you'll either miss the deadlines, which is bad for the clients or lead to bad work. Both of these are not good in either situation. And even sometimes you just need to leave early despite those deadlines coming up. You'll find even sometimes if you leave earlier, it feels you more re refreshed for the next day, allowing you to deliver better and faster work, actually making you more efficient in the long run. But most importantly, you need to make sure that you're enjoying your job and getting the best out of it. And if you really want to learn what is the secret to engineering and having a successful career, we've got a video here with people with over 200 years of combined experience and their thoughts on engineering that I think you'll enjoy. And if you're interested in supporting your channel, there's two ways that you can do this. You can either become a YouTube or Patreon member. And I'd just like to give you a quick shout out to some of my newest Patreon and YouTube members for their support. I'd like to thank Bethel Dunn, sorry if I mispronounce your names, Jared, JV, Pasido. Without the support of my YouTube or Patreon members, this type of content would not be possible. And as always, stay safe, keep learning, and I'll see you next week. Bye.